in this next section on pages 7, 8, and 10 uh, in your Cardiac Disorder the Interpretation Workbook, I want to talk about some terminology and some basic guiding principles that will be important to um, take us on to ECG interpretation. So beginning with uh, this concept of automaticity, and automaticity is the ability of a cell or a group of cells to generate impulses without external stimulation. That means that the um, the sinoatrial node, which, which is the heart's intrinsic pacemaker, located uh, right here in the right upper hand corner of um, the right atrium, uh, it uh, has this ability to generate impulses without external stimulation from, uh, for example, the autonomic nervous system, the parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system. So if you were to physically remove the heart from the chest, uh, it would continue to generate impulses and continue to beat and contract until the point where it became so profoundly deprived of oxygen that it could no longer function. Um, so that's automaticity. Now any cell or group of cells is capable of generating impulses without external stimulation, uh, but certain cells are designed specifically for that purpose, and those are known as pacemaker sites, uh, such as the SA node. Uh, but again, as I said, any cell or group of cells is capable of generating impulses without external stimulation. And this is helpful because if the SA node failed for some reason, then backup pacemaker sites in the AV junction, which is where the AV node connects to the bundle of Hiss, or the bundle of Hiss, or the Purkinje fibers down in the ventricles, those areas can take over pacing in the event that the SA node failed. Uh, what also sometimes happens is that um, if an area of the heart becomes irritable, uh, it may begin to generate impulses inappropriately. And if it generates impulses at a rate faster than the SA node, it may actually take over pacing of the heart. And we see this in supraventricular tachycardias and ventricular tachycardias, dysrhythmias that have to be treated. So uh, another important uh, property as well is that whichever cell or group of cells fires the fastest controls the heart rate. Normally that would be the SA node. But if the SA node uh, failed, other backup pacemaker sites lower down in the heart would take over, and they have an inherently slower firing rate. Uh, or alternatively, if some area of the heart became irritable and began to fire impulses at a rate faster than the SA node, then it would take over pacing, and we'd have to look at treating that. Rhythmicity is an, an another important principle, and whenever a single cell or group of cells discharges impulses in sequence, it has a tendency to do so rhythmically. Uh, and uh, so whether it's from the SA node or a single ectopic focus, if it fires in sequence, it has a tendency to do so rhythmically. And this will help guide us when we're looking at distinguishing one dysrhythmia from another later on in the book. Conductivity is simply, um, in very, very simple terms, is, is simply describes the, the concept that when an impulse is generated, a wave of electrical current spreads from one cell to another across the entire myocardium. So it's an all or nothing effect. So when ce one cell depolarizes or conducts current, it stimulates all surrounding cells to depolarize or conduct current. And so we get this wave of current moving across the myocardium. And separating the cardiac cells are these intercalated discs, and these discs allow impulses to flow from cell to cell with minimal impedance. And in fact, uh, conduction across the myocardial cells is so fast that the heart has been described as a group of cells that function like a single cell. And that concept of a group of cells functioning like a single cell is called functional syncytium. Um, there's also refractory periods in the myocardium, and these refractory periods are important. Uh, the refractory period simply means a period during which the heart is unable to respond to another impulse. So it's not necessarily a resting period per se. But if the ventricle is gener busy generating electrical current, then an ectopic focus can't come along during that time and cause uh, the ventricles to become stimulated again. So the uh, AV node, for example, has uh, a longer refractory period than other tissue, and this helps protect the ventricles from uh, excessive firing of beats in the um, uh, atria. Starling's law states that within physiological limits, the greater the myocardium is stretched, the greater its force of contractility. And finally, no muscle works harder, longer, or more steadily than the myocardium.